Hey everyone, welcome to TechScale. So this video is for the people who are having Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus with them. So after the recent update that the Buds Plus received, there was some connectivity issue. So I thought I'll let, uh, let you know, just clear the air for you people and tell you how you can like this will be a complete guide for the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. So number one thing, uh, first of all, let's start with the connectivity thing. So as soon as you open your Buds like this, you know just like this so right now the buds are not fully charged so you might see here a, a red light otherwise there is a green light over here right now you have to go to the bluetooth settings right and click on the find uh, these bluetooth whatever devices are around so you click on them it, it will say pairing as soon as they say pairing you just click on pair and this will be connected with your device now although they are connected but still you know it's showing that there is a 42% battery, but for the features that you want to explore, you have to install a separate app that's called Samsung Galaxy, this wearable, that is Galaxy wearable. And after you install this, there is a one more plugin that you need to install. That's called Galaxy Buds plugin. I'll link, I'll give the link of both of these apps in the description, do check them out. So these are specifically for the Buds Plus, right? After you click on this, let's go back and let's find the app that we have installed, right? So let's start over here and just click on start and allow your location. As soon as you hit on this, it already detected that you have, you know, on this installed. So there is another plugin that you need to install because this is Galaxy Buds Plus plugin. So I'll give the link of this as well as in the description, right? So we have installed it. It says uninstall. That means the app is installed. Now we go back and we will see that our app is getting configured for a while. So there are some things, uh, you know, that you need to uh, look at this. Obviously, don't need to send diagnostic data. Just agree on this. Allow these to uh, access your contact. This is because Samsung Galaxy Buds can read you notifications as well. So this is for that feature, right? So let's give them all the access for for now and let's link the app with the, you know, as uh, I'll allow Galaxy Buds to read your notification. That can also, you know, this, this is one of the other feature of Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus that I'll just uh, show you. Yeah, so now we have the notification access as well. So it says you're all set. Let's see. Now, as you can see here, we number one thing we have the battery uh, stats over here. So the left bud is 75% charge and the right bud is 42% charge because sometimes, you know, I occasionally wear one of the bud that might uh, have caused this battery uh, issue like why there is a different battery on both of the earbuds and uh, apart from that even the case is not fully charged so i'll just plug it right here uh, yeah now as you can see a red light is here so the, it, it is getting charged right so let's start with the features of the samsung galaxy buds what do they offer to us right so let's quickly start with the feature number one so the feature number one is the ambient sound so as soon as i tap on this right and now right now it says extra high so what this feature does as soon as you wear one of the bud in your ear right you will be able to hear the ambient sounds for example the inbuilt microphones of the buds will get activated like there are microphones over here as you i don't know if you can see or not but these are uh like some microphones over here that actually you know catches the environmental sound and they like make it a little loud and get it into your ear so that you can you know loudly hear whatever is in the surrounding for example you are listening to music you know or maybe you are on a call and someone calls you from the background if you're not wearing these uh, or if you're wearing them and you're not having this ambient uh sound option on you won't be able to hear their sound but whenever this option is on, you will be able to hear the other sound very clearly because this will be amplified by this ambient sound feature, right? So let's go to the earbud settings. Here you can see, you know, I use ambient sound during calls. You can, I'll just turn it on. This is a very, you know, seamless and awesome feature. And now let's come to the, uh, this labs option. So in the labs, as you can see, double tap on the, ear edge this is one of the feature and there is a high ambient volume initially when you don't turn this on the high here will be just high and after you turn it on that this will be extra high right so let's go to the earbud settings and now come to the equalizer part here you see a lot of uh, 
settings for you uh, if you want to hear a normal sound you can hear normal if you want a little more of a bass then you can turn it on there are more features that you can definitely look at now use the seamless earbud connection you need to you know have signed in with your same samsung account with all of the devices then you can if you long press on one of the earbud that will automatically switch it to the other device that's how the seamless earbud connection works so let, let's go back right and now we have another option over here to read notifications loud so right now i have this one app that supports this that is missed call feature for example you miss a call from someone and if you're uh, wearing your earbuds the earbuds will you know say that you have a missed call from this and this number that's why it actually asked us for the notification access for these earbuds right and apart from this we have even like uh, a software update feature in here as well maybe whenever there is a firmware update that samsung pushes we automatically receive it in our these buds and automatically gets installed whenever we you know pair them up next time like for example an update is received as soon as i pair it the update will be downloaded and will be installed on the this process takes around about five minutes so you know install it accordingly right so let's move on to the other feature let's go back and here are the touch control features and and another thing another thing i'll just want to show you so i you know keep this this earbud here and i'll just keep this earbud here right as you can see i have uh, both of them in the different places now i click on find my earbuds for example you are sitting in a room and you know you you dropped one of the earbud and for some strange reasons you forgot right okay you know edge cases are always there so we i'll just click on start to find my earbuds as just focus can you see these can like can you hear if i turn it off now only the left one is is, is is producing that sound if i turn it off nothing is producing sound as soon as I turn it on there is a sound coming up right so this way you can find your galaxy buds where, wherever they are in, like in a room this works perfectly fine these the sound is very loud and totally works very fine and you can easily find your earbuds so this is the find my earbuds feature now comes to the touch control right so this is this block touch actually you know blocks the accidental touches here and there for example you know your shoulder touch or something like that so this is for the left earbud this is for the right earbud so as soon as i click on the left one if you you know tab touch and hold the volume down ambient sound and voice command so these are three features that these galaxy bird offer right now so the number one is voice command that is it will automatically turn on your so if i like uh, turn this i don't uh, just, just have a look at this i'll just wear it and i'll long tap and automatically google assistant will i hope it will pop up touch and hold I don't know this is not working right now but this actually works so this is actually for the voice command if you want to give right and there is an ambient sound button all already over here and similarly a volume down for example you're listening to music and you give a like press a you know you 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 uh, do a long press the volume will start declining that's how it works and i told you already about the block touches feature and for the people who are not able to connect this i you know if, if you're not able to connect your galaxy buds with with your device maybe it's a samsung device it's a oneplus it's xiaomi or anything just do one thing like charge this device to the full when there is there is a green light right number one thing that is very important then if you have already installed the VR app go to app info and you know this feature clear storage clear these storages delete all the plugins of the apps and after that do a restart right after restarting turn on the app connect your uh, this the, this thing on and after that this will definitely pop up over here some sometimes what happens is we are able to connect it here but we are not able to use the features because the app is not getting connected to this this like this app is not connected to the earbuds for that you need to do all that clear storage clear cache thing so that's that that's it for the samsung galaxy buds plus and obviously the ambient sound you can you know just do this just and turn the ambient sound down so this is this works fine if you have them do check the ambient sound 
feature this is one of the fine so this is one of the awesome feature that anyone having Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus should check. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. If you find this video helpful, do subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it with your friends who are also having Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.